So some somewhat recently clockwork came out. I've been messing around with making cars. We still have a lot of other mods. You might recognize like frame blocks, create, Eureka, there's clockwork. A couple other mods you might know. But uh I recently figured out how to make the what, what is what are they called? The uh, auto cannons from create the cannons. So uh I made this basic one just using a creative crate and some hoppers to get the ammunition in. For some reason, these framed levers, which let you put a block in them, the same thing I did with these framed floorboards, they just kind of went like... And now I have these floorboards. Kind of wish you could put the floorboards inside other blocks. Or like you could put the, the wall boards, whatever they were called. Yeah, wall boards. Kind of wish you could put them there. They have to be a... a these ones don't have to be against something. They can be free floating. I think. Yeah, they can be free floating. But these. These can't be free floating. They have to be on something. I kind of want there to be like a L shaped one so you can combine them. Maybe a corner. But with. With. Uh, with clockwork, you have these physics bearings you place them down you have your create mod thing on one side and you just kind of put a block there press them and you got something that can rotate of course they can't rotate like that you'd have to have to dig a hole out so it can rotate but I was able to use some things to make wheels there's some concrete from the great industry then using a combustion engine and more of the strawberry frosting fuel than I'll ever need to get this thing actually moving because I wanted to have a moving vehicle with a gun on it. Just hop up here. Theoretically, you could have all this on a multiplayer server, have your friend in a vehicle with like levers and stuff to control the engine, and you could just like, this thing can definitely go a lot faster. I've made much faster things using combustion engine wheels, and then even faster things using like the afterblazer and intake, stuff that gets you going real fast. I typically don't use it, it goes real fast and makes it not easy to actually work with. But you could make a vehicle, theoretically, that climbs over trees and stuff and has like a couple of these auto cannons for the friends you have top shooting at. So maybe like you're driving past an enemy's base and you just kind of shoot your way in. For some reason, you're invisible when on these. But here's a problem with these wheels: they can get stuck. They don't have all that much torque. Don't know what's wrong with these ones. They seem to not be working so well. That was having an issue. But. <coughs> the combustion engine is powered by frosting, vanilla being the worst, chocolate being intermediate, and strawberry being the best. At some point, they're gonna add a crafting recipe for this stuff. There might be, I don't have just enough items to check. But. At some point, you could automate this stuff and have to be like fuel for vehicles and stuff. 
this this mod's meant to make planes, but I don't typically do that as they're not easy to make ones that are good at controlling. So I just kind of make cars. I've designed rather compact engines and everything, but... I'm just making this video to show that this is possible for anybody, for any bigger YouTubers that might see, like, create clockwork, auto cannons, Valkyrian skies, stuff. This stuff's possible. It's pretty cool. I'm just here to show it off. I've been messing with frame blocks. This has a lot of cool stuff. Like that. Lots of other blocks. Create big cannons. Get your cannons. Take off. I haven't used much. Magnets would be interesting to see how they have how I can get those working. But then you got Eureka, Clockwork, Create Crafts and Additions to add like electric stuff. That's all pretty cool. You have different flammable liquids. But one interesting thing that I've that I've been messing with this area is rather laggy you can see how these blaze birds are being powered by lava that's because I have I didn't know the straws were in this mod but they let the blazer the blaze burners have a straw attached to them so you can use fuel, like liquid fuel. I'm using lava here, but theoretically you could use bioethanol, which is an efficient one, or seed oil, less efficient but simple. But these ones already have their crafting recipes. This mod is meant for stuff. This one's still heavily in beta and stuff. But there used to be a problem where Eureka, which was the main Valkyrian Skies mod, other than Valkyrian Skies itself, Eureka just wouldn't work with Create Big Cannons. I eventually ended up learning that you had to use a straw for these guys. You just kind of go here, grab a straw, give it to them, and then pipes now reroute themselves to this, and I figured this stuff out. Like this super compact engine that would only work in creative because you need compact ident compact fuel. But you theoretically could pump this out from somewhere else. This is meant to put in a vehicle. The one vehicle I actually put that in was a trek around here. But I kind of shot that up after I got the stuff working. Design a car-ish. Frame secret storage, extra fuel, and this nice crafting table. A whole system for like for somehow I managed to fit two engines in here. While from inside, if I could jump up, can't see nothing. I don't know why it chose birch. I think it would fit, but theoretically. I could use a vehicle like this. I'm just kind of drive it around. This is from me testing to get these guns working. Didn't figure out you had to have this side turned on. But overall, there's a lot you can do with Valkyrian Skies. It's main. It's mostly meant for like airships and planes. But if you get creative, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. It's like, it's, it works really well with Create. Because you get like, movable physics objects and then all these super cool, like, engineering projects you can work on, like steam engines. The cool thing with steam engines is, you get a steam whistle. 
going to make that tall enough to get a good load of power down. Get that. It's another compact steam engine, not particularly powerful, but it works. Much more compact design. This is something, this is I believe something similar to the one I put in the truck. But another mod I have is this stuff because I wanted good hat. And uh, the quad potato cannon. Uh, grab a grab potato. There's vegetable impacts <laughs> and the subtitles. Mostly play with that because it's helpful to be able to see that, like when I'm blasting music or watching a YouTube video on the side. There's a lot you can do with all this stuff. I actually I'm playing with very few mods compared to what I typically do. Got frame blocks, which let you like take a frame, take a block, and take any block and turn it to any shape you want out of all of these. In the new version, Create actually added copycat blocks, which are basically these, but slightly better as they work with stuff like barrels. And I like barrels because they have a very cool texture that would work well on a lot of stuff. But they also do a lot with water wheels. Generally a whole redesign of stuff. Kind of want them to bring more ways of like more ways of turning. Like you have your crank which is along with the valve. Valve is a lot slower but produce it but is able to turn a bit more I think. Actually, wait. Now that it's saying here that it's doing half as much SU, which is like the basically the torque of turning on a water wheel, which is your automatic it gets going thingy. You have water flowing over it. Creative motor. Kind of just like a motor. You place it down. One end turns. The other side, you can scroll on that to adjust how fast it turns. Then, uh, you have the whole steam engine stuff, which I'm showing you here, is really complex. You have blaze burners that provide heat to the boiler, which is just fluid tanks. The steam engine, the steam engines go on the side, power cranks with water in them, provide heat, start going. Uh, another source of energy you have are wind turbine. Uh, uh, you have windmills. You place down one of these, build a whole windmill setup, and it'll work. It'll, it'll get you slow but very strong turning. Good if you need a lot of SUs but not a lot of speed. But with a lot of SUs, you get a lot of speed if you have one of those rotational speed controllers. Then you got the electric motor, which which requires some form of electricity from this add-on. Then clockwork, you got combustion engine, provide fuel, get it started turning, and it'll turn. But overall, I wish there were more ways to get the rotational stuff that you need to create. Like, there used to be a furnace engine back before steam engines, but it's more complex. The first one that required, it was the first one that required turn, it required you to burn something. It's pretty cool. Kind of wanted to bring that back. It's like a simpler, smaller early game thing if you need a bit more power. You need to also burn something. Traditional speed controller there. You got trains. I don't typically dabble with them. Not not very good designing trains. Not too complex. But through the create mod and 
Valkyrian Skies, there's a lot to do. I don't have a script for this video, so I kind of what keep en ending up going off. And see how the vehicle's doing. Something's there. Yeah. Just gonna stop turning, but. Little glitchy. But you can make a better car than this. Make a more efficient gun than this. Maybe even use the like the big cannons and have a way to actually make a tank, which I believe I've seen. There's a lot of stuff you can do with these mods. A lot of building blocks for anybody that likes building all these different kinds of glass especially if you're using optifine these all have connected textures and stuff that looks cool factory must grow this is like if you want to have a proper looking factory this is where you go caution blocks that kind of like certain style I forgot like the I don't know I don't know what it's called. Then you got these metal railings. This stuff is pretty cool. You got this beefy door. Where you just grab like a lever. And it opens like normal. Oh, wait, is that? It's not even thicker than a normal door. But I like the frame blocks. That should be stuff like have a glass leather. It'd be good for building a hidden base. Because you just kind of like. Let's say you're. Um, at the side of a cliff. It's got a door here. There's this one video of like a... This one video of like a helicopter that was using frame blocks to look cool. There's a lot you can do like... Like a swimming pool. Out of various molten <laughs> materials, like he likes iron. Or bronze. Or vanilla. <laughs> or Yeah, or you can go and hunt. There's a lot you can do with these mods. That's like diving gear. These keep you on the ocean floor, so you're almost kind of walking. This diving helmet works with the copper back tank to be able to let you breathe. There should be some form of leggings, but I don't know what leggings would do. Now the schematic can, which I should place down schematics. Use a can to go block by block. You know, fluids, you do a lot of fluids. But overall, if anyone new to modding, there's plenty of stuff for you to do. It's just a couple of the mods. You have a Tesla coil for for everything out of all the things. And you have festive lights. And then these really ugly balloon blocks. But I do much prefer the designs that come out of the Eureka mod. This mod is very simple. You just kind of Place down a couple balloons. Place down a ship helm. Crouch. 
assemble. You gotta fly it around. Meant to make stuff much bigger than this. Let's see if they fix this assembly. Well, they fall through it, but from, from that test right there, if they actually fix disassembling. But, but, uh, I remember back when I was using it on servers, to disassemble something would basically be you randomize the blocks. Should add some kind of thing there, but you've got like the bioethanol, not barbed wire, kind of like a cobweb that mixed with a thorn bush. Different cakes. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You have, you have like explosives. Let me show you what a medium explosive is. By these guys design. I'm just gonna fly off a little bit. By the way, if you don't know, the Biomarin is a frozen river. You can see it up there with the map. Should be far enough away. This is considered a medium sized explosion. It can only be activated by redstone, to my knowledge. With instant explosions. This one's considered big. Then you got the staged big explosion. I'm gonna fly a little ways away. <laughs> that would be a fun day. Having to rebuild your base after that. And like, this stuff... To my knowledge, just seeing what items I got here, they're intending for you to build, like, either a car or some kind of plane. Then use, like, ropes to, like, hold explosion, explosives in place before you, like, cut the ropes or some, somehow. You're just, like, the wireless redstone, which now works between, like, Valkyrie and Sky's things. And you can also now use, like, the different... I'm gonna check what they're called. There are different frequencies that you can set so that you can have multiple, you can have like a, a lot of them per server. They work with like most blocks. Some blocks, like these, don't work. Can't wait to see, figure out what the Solver does and what the Universal Joint does. Because, uh, that's just a random block. Uh, this does something. This is big purple beam. Glitches out around there. You have this block, the welder. Can't actually place it. There's a lot of stuff to do. I've I've just been going on and on and on and on, but I'd really like to see a lot more done. Like, look at this one dude. I forgot his name. Look, that's how big it appears on the map. Each of these squares is a chunk. So, like eight chunks wide of an explosion is kind of big. I believe it was Shals that did some, like, did a lot of work with Eureka and stuff and then tried to figure out how to use clockwork. But now it's publicly out, so there's a lot more tutorials so he can figure out how to do that stuff. Like, make a, 
have like a plane war, you can create big cannons and stuff. There's there's a lot you can do. I can't wait to see Great to see when uh, Create Aeronautics comes out, because that's going to make it a lot easier to make really... It's going to be like a bridge between the complexities of Clockwork and the simplicity of Eureka. At least that's what I hope it is. Like a way to make a... It's a lot, my guess is it's going to be... Like what I'm hoping for it to be... It's like Eureka, but it isn't just like one block that does all the work maybe two if you want to go fast but like there's gonna be a lot of stuff my guess is you could build like an entire airship and then wouldn't have to do complex math like you would with all the with the ballooner and stuff in order to get your thing to not go flying stupid high can't wait for them to fix some of the glitches because I've gotten some airplanes stuck frozen midair, unable to move from, it, from anything I could throw at it. And on occasion, I've corrupted w worlds. I, not even just worlds, like all my saves got corrupted because I did something you'd want. Because I like, like, I pondered the wrong item and then. All, and then I couldn't join any of my worlds, couldn't create any new ones. So I just kind of deleted all my saves and came back, made some stuff. There's a lot to do. I want to see people doing more. Like all these steam engines are cool. You could grab a combustion engine, some frosting. Little cog wheel and a gearbox. And also grab a mechanical pump and a creative fluid tank. You do a little bit of you do a little bit of that. Grabbing a wrench just to make sure everything works. Let's turn that. I can rotate this. Kind of wish there was some easy way to tell which way this was going. There are subtle pixel differences, like if I rotate it. But it's not easy enough to tell. You rotate until this thing starts going. Then you got a simple engine to make a simple car. And then if you don't want people to see this, you have some framed walls. Like, let's say you want to make it, you want to, like, let's just, let's just do some, just gonna ignore that. It doesn't really work entirely. You just do a little bit of that. Grab a floorboard. And then no one knows what this is besides a couple minor glitches. No one knows what this is, and you could build an entire vehicle out of this. And I have built entire vehicles out of this. You have slopes from all out, out of all the things you got slopes. You can like grab a flower pot, grab a sapling. Let's see if we can put. I haven't actually tested this. That, that's something, right? You got all these different blocks. Got the saw, which is 
can't actually change what it is, but this is how you craft things. You put in your thing here, something here. I don't know what all this material stuff is. I haven't actually done any of this in survival, but... There's a lot you can do. Put down a sign. Make it out of dirt. There's a lot to do. I'm gonna end the video. I've been going on for too long. Let's go play some Minecraft. There needs to be more cool stuff to do in Minecraft.